Today we have another announcement and uh, it's about fans. We're basically going to talk about Lian Lee's new set of fans. We have their Unifan SL Inf120 RGB which stands for Infinity. Now these are quite outstanding when it comes to design and it they really look wow. And I'm saying this because first of all on the back you have a Lian Lee logo. Then you have a mirror effect here on the sides, you have a mirror effect right here in the middle of the propeller and right on the sides you have an RGB line that actually would look quite cool and we're going to check that out of course. Now there's loads of differences comparing to the past SL and even AL fans because we're having a completely different and more universal connectivity. Now. Here we have a single pack and a triple pack, which triple pack of course comes with a controller, instruction manual and all the other details, cable, screws and whatever you need. And the single pack comes with one cable that you attach on the connection and uh, basically four screws and additional foil to place it uh, over here on the mirror part. Now the thing is they have the same thing when we're talking about connectivity so you place two fans next to each other you do have to put them in the same direction and then just well it doesn't make a click it goes straight in and it's quite easy basically this is what uh, i personally love about their sl and al fans because you only have two cables running from the fans if you go with 360 radiator or 240 radiator 120 really doesn't matter because you'll still have two cables. In the other cases where it's two 120 you have instead of four you have two cables and instead of 360 or 3 120 you get two cables instead of six. Now what I wanted to say when it comes to connectivity these SL fans when, it, when they come in a single pack they actually have a standardized 3 pin 5 volts addressable RGB header. So this means compared to the others you can connect them directly to your motherboard and control them with motherboard software. So basically in other terms you don't need a controller but if you want those special effects and if you want to use the LConnex software which is definitely upgraded from the first version you'll be able to get the controller in 3-pack and most likely separately but that I will check that out later and leave that information in the comments. Now what is really cool is they gave us an opportunity to use them individually, place them and connect them directly to the motherboard. That's the biggest difference apart from the visual aspect and everything else. Now when we're talking about some specifications uh, as I already stated about the package content in a single and triple pack but when we're talking about dimensions here it is now 120 times 122.1 and that's the part where you have the connections uh, times 25 millimeters so that's the thickness we have fluid dynamic bearings uh, dc 12 volts for the fan and dc 5 volts for the leds the rpm and this is also interesting zero to 2100 rpms so that means if there's no heat if there actually there is no point of spinning they don't spin airflow is 61.3 cfm static pressure is 2.66 millimeter h2o and maximum noise level is 29 decibels we have the l connect to uh, actually control the fan speeds and led lightning as always you have four channels and this is also different so the controller has four channels with different uh, connections and here is the thing. So the connections with the controller is completely different. So in the box, in the triple pack, you get additional four connectors in terms of if you actually buy a single pack, you have to swap the single pack cable and use this one because it's a specific connector with seven pin header. And that's how it goes into the controller. So it's fairly easy. You connect it and it's even simpler than the past thing because you don't actually have with this cable you don't actually have a pwm control so you skip the motherboard and you go directly into the controller where you control the speeds where you control the lights if you go with a single pack you have two cables running out and you have a pwm and the address bar rgb header now in addition to that from the controller you have two sata power going out which need to be connected to your power supply 
You have USB 2.0 headers so that the L Connect 3 software can actually recognize your controller and you have additional cable which is 4 pin that divides into PWM and 3 pin addressable RGB that you connect to your motherboard. This way L Connect 3 gives you an opportunity to control everything through your motherboard so that way in the L Connect 3 you can choose an option where the RPMs are controlled by the motherboard you can go I don't know into BIOS and do that or you can control the RGB directly through motherboard software. Now there's also one more advantage that uh, they actually did with the cable connection to the fan. You have a possibility to switch the orientation of the cable uh, on the power module so you basically remove the plastic cap, you switch the cable on the other side, you place the plastic cap back on and it locks perfectly. So this time you won't have any issues with basically figuring out uh, on which direction the cable will go. So that's really cool. And also since the connection is this time straight in the middle and if you place uh, the connection part right here you can remove that plastic cap which will give you an opportunity to place uh, two fittings on the side and this will definitely not interrupt your liquid cooling system in terms of placing fittings on the radiators and the cable will go straight so this is also really cool so that's like i don't know fourth or fifth thing that they changed because they listened to the comments and everybody was what everybody was saying also when it comes to these hinges where the fans actually connect to each other there sometimes the end fan is really hideous with those two hinges sticking out so there's a possibility to actually remove them you have to twist them and pull them out it's a quite simple mechanism which actually gave us some sort of a relaxation in terms of uh, possibility of not thinking if the fans will fit just because of those two millimeters sticking out. Now it's actually time to check out the build. With the new controller that comes with the three pack you can actually connect the Galahad RGB and you can connect the EVO so O11D EVO front RGB line as well on that and you have up to two devices maybe you could use a splitter but I'm not quite sure because I didn't have the possibility to use a splitter because I don't have one but here is the thing don't worry if the fans don't spin because that's an initial time while while the L connect boots up in your windows when it boots up the fans start spinning now in the L connect 3 you can do everything with the RGB madness and the static meteor everything that you can see in this video it's just insane what RGB lights can be done you can go with static of course and choose single color but the mirror effect really does look effective and when you take a look at it these fans have the most lights of all that I've noticed so you have the mirror effect on the side on both sides actually and in the middle you have a line on both sides at the front and at the back and the whole propeller lights up as well the lights are perfect insane they look really crystal clear and the and the colors are really vivid so that's really nice and you can see from the close up I mean just wow you have a couple of possibilities to adjust the speeds so just like on past version it's nothing too different and they aren't that loud i mean as i stated uh, before they go up to 29 decibels at full speed and you can lower them down of course depending on the temperature of your processor or your graphic card depending how you regulate your speeds and you can really do loads of stuff since they spin up from 0 to 2100 rpms connecting to the controller is quite easy you just have to if you want to have a sequence when it comes to lights i would uh, suggest going in certain order so i place these ones at first second third and fourth channel and this is how it goes when uh, the lights are synchronized as you can see from the close-ups it really does look quite outstanding so something new from lee and lee these were unifan sl infinity 120 rgb fans which look really really nice so guys uh, stay tuned in a week or so maybe two weeks i have something special with this case coming up and you will definitely love it so stay tuned thanks for watching if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hopefully i will see you in another one bye bye